this question, we have two graphs, and we'll notice that uh, both graphs have the same vertical axis. They have the same quantities on the y-axis, and we can even see that the scales are the same. So these are occurring over the same time interval. And if we do an Oizerga analysis, the origins, if we were to look for those, um, <clears throat> as we look at the uh, x-axis, we're going this way, oh, 9.9. .9. And if we look at it vertically, 20 and there's 0 in both cases, and they both scaled the same on the vertical axis as well. So if we situate this in the coordinate plane, we're looking at something that's like this. That's where we are. The origin's not present. Now the y-axis is acceleration in normal units, x-axis time in normal units, and therefore any questions about acceleration and time would simply be read off the graph. The gradient is delta A over delta T, which is the rate of change in acceleration, which is also known as the jerk. And the area is A delta T, which is the change in velocity. Meters per second squared times seconds is meters per second. That gives us the change in velocity. <clears throat> so as we don't usually normally deal with jerk, this change in velocity might be something we're dealing with here. And so this question may very well be about area. So let's see what the scenario is. We have two model cars, A and B, same mass but different bumpers. The accelerations through its collision with a wall is measured. So picture we have is like this. We have a car like this. It's going to collide with a wall. And this one is going to collide with the wall. And they have different bumpers. Now if we notice then the difference is this one experiences a much as a 40 acceleration, a minus 40 acceleration, where this has a minus 20 acceleration, the biggest acceleration it experiences. We might also notice that this occurs over, you know, about 10, about 0 0.1 seconds, whereas this one seems to occur over about 0 0.5 seconds. So we have down here twice the acceleration in half the time half the acceleration in twice the time. Excuse me, this is not 0 0.5, it's 0 0.05. Which statements about the collisions are correct? Both carts reach their maximum speed at 10.05 seconds. Well, 10.05 seconds is when they actually stop. The biggest acceleration is right at the very end when they're stopping. So that is out. The car is experiencing the same impulse. Well, the impulse, J, is F bar delta T, but that is also equal to the change in momentum. M delta V. <clears throat> so this, the, what we have is the acceleration. So F is MA, MA delta T would be equal to M delta V. So what we see here is this product of acceleration and delta T. Twice as large, half the time, half the time, twice as long. So we can see this A delta T term, which is the area, should be the same. And we can actually kind of draw that out. The maximum was 20, so the average would be 10. So we're looking at this area compared to this area. And if we put numbers to it, this is 0 0.05, and this is minus 20, and this is 0 0.1, and this is minus 10. So 10 times 0 0.1 is minus 1, and if we have minus 20 times 0 0.05, we get minus 1. So the areas are equal. Um, we are told they have the same mass, A and B. 
So the A delta T's are the same and the masses are the same. So that means the impulses are the same, the change in momenta are the same. And if the masses are the same, it means they have the same changes in velocity. So they do experience approximately the same impulse. Cart B experiences a non-zero force for a longer period of time than A. Well, the force occurs when there's acceleration. And if we look at what's being depicted on the graph, there's zero acceleration here and zero acceleration here, zero acceleration here and zero acceleration here. The non-zero force means everything that's not red. And it's saying for a longer time than car A will be as it for a little smaller time than car A. So that's exactly backwards. Choice C is out. And then we look at the next one, the change in momentum for B over a shorter period of time than A. And you can see shorter period of time than A. Thus, choice B. Choice D, excuse me. So our two choices are B and D.